County Board Chairman, and as most everybody knows, we do uh, have had a positive case in Madison County. Uh, we're here today to give the public some information. I'm going to turn uh, our press conference over to Eric Feist, our Public Health Director, and then Dan DeGeer, our Emergency Management Director, and then I'll open it up for questions. So with that, Eric. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, good morning. My name is Eric Feist, and I am the Director of Public Health for Madison County. Uh, yesterday afternoon, we were alerted to our first positive COVID-19 case in a Madison County resident. That individual is currently in mandatory isolation, and my staff is working to identify any other individuals that have come in contact with them, and those individuals will be placed in quarantine. Since yesterday, uh, this morning actually, we received notice of two more positive cases. Um, fortunately, those two cases were people we already had in quarantine at the time, and so they will remain in quarantine. Uh, we will, again, follow up with those individuals to make sure that we've identified anyone who has come into contact with them and, and follow up with those individuals. You also know or are aware that there was a college student who tested positive. That college student tested positive out of state, uh, had notified the university, and we are working closely with Colgate University to identify any additional contacts this student may have had, and we are working closely with them, and those individuals will be quarantined. We're also working with healthcare providers to expand our testing sites. We hope to have one up on Tuesday. I'll, we're finalizing the details. We'll get that information to you. But I do want to note that the, that test site will be by invitation only or appointment only. We want to make sure that only those people that risk for COVID-19 are being tested. And so it will be appointment only. We'll be asking individuals to contact their providers if they have any questions. Their providers will go through and determine whether or not they meet the criteria, and then they can be referred to that appointment. But it will be by appointment only. We don't want to overwhelm our health care system, and we want to make sure we're, we're testing only those individuals that really need to be tested. Again, as a reminder, this has been our message from the beginning. Uh, to, it's important to practice social distancing, good personal hygiene, uh, to help prevent the spread of germs. If you're feeling sick, sick stay home, contact your provider. If you're serious, you'll obviously call 911, but if you have any questions, call your provider first. If you're feeling ill or uh, do not go to the hospital, we ask that you call first. We're trying to keep the hospitals from being inundated so they can care for the people they need to care for. The hospitals are still caring for people on, under normal, um, and people that have heart attacks or things like that are still need to be cared for as well. So we ask you to, to understand that and, and respect that. Uh, so, in order for us to really focus on those that most at risk, again, um, those individuals that meet certain criteria that to, should be tested, we want to focus testing on people that with the symptoms of COVID-19, that being the cough, shortness of breath, and fever, that fall into one of these categories. They have come into close contact, like in, if they worked in the same office or like we're in the classroom, of another person known to be positive has traveled to one of the countries that CDC has determined or issued a level two or level three uh, health advisory, or health notice. If they are currently under quarantine or they have already tested negative for other types of infections such as flu and other types of respiratory viruses, those have been eliminated first. Uh, again, if you, if you think you may meet some of these criteria, we ask that you contact your health provider first and we can go from there. I thank you. Uh, good morning. The Madison County Office of Emergency Management has been working with our partners in public health, uh, county administration, and the county IT uh, to ensure our preparedness for what we are now facing. Uh, my team in emergency management has been working diligently in supporting the supply needs of those who are battling on the front lines. Supplies are hard to come by. Uh, the worldwide supply chain that we are accustomed to relying on is now stretched to the max and probably then some. We are taking lessons, however, from uh, America's greatest generation. NASA's Gene Kantz taught us by saying, I don't care about what anything was designed to do. I care about what it can do. We are taking this lesson and currently identifying alternative solutions with supplies that are available. 
Uh, I would also like to quickly thank those who are often forgotten about, the, the unsung heroes who are keeping our community safe each and every day. Their daily tasks have not stopped, um, and now we're asking them to do even more. These are the professionals in EMS, fire, law enforcement, and those in our 911 dispatch center. Uh, here in Madison County, we are truly best to have, uh, blessed to have the best in the business, and uh, we appreciate people keeping them in their, your thoughts. Thank you. Okay, we'll open it up for questions. Uh, the condition of the three confirmed cases, do you, do you have the condition currently? Are they feeling well? They are feeling well. They're mildly symptomatic, but they're feeling well. Were there any connections to those cases and the confirmed case at the, the college? Do you believe there's any connection? There is no connection. What do you recommend for individuals that might not have an immediate health care provider or a you know, doctor that they go to regularly? What should they do if they're feeling symptomatic or uh, you know, wish to get some information about this? Right. There, there is currently a hotline at Upstate Medical Center, and I'm, I'm looking for the exact number here. Uh, we would have them call that. They can provide them as guidance as well. And if we're, okay, the Upstate Triage Hotline is area code 315-464-3979. They can start there. There's also, uh, if they don't get through there, they can always try to contact us locally here at the, the county health department, and that's 366-2361. Uh, um, and after hours, we have an on-call service that if you call our main office, it'll go to that, and we'll follow up with you as well. Can you restate, uh, you know, the individuals that currently are in the county with a confirmed case, and do you have their ages by any chance? I well? do not. Okay. And it was that one individual yesterday and then two new ones today? We got alerted of the first one yesterday afternoon, and the, the other two we found out this morning. We, re we received their lab results this morning. And all of these went through Wadsworth? No, uh, I believe they were through private labs. Okay. Yeah, how many... Do you have, do you know how many tests you have pending and are they all going yep. through your department? Well, the tests don't go through our department. We get notification of the tests. Right, you get, that's what I, I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. We've had 70 people that have been tested in Madison County. Of those 70, 25 were negative. We have the three positives and then we still have 42 that are pending. questions okay uh, I want to thank Eric and Dan and uh, everybody who as Dan said is our uh, unsung heroes that are still working our 911 folks all of our emergency management uh, Eric with his public health department uh, they they've had some logistical itches glitches uh, but they're working through them uh, as we do in Madison County we improvise improvise we're asking the public to do their part do your social distancing Wash your hands, rediscover your family, go for a walk, but uh, keep your distance from other people. It doesn't mean that you can't go outside and uh, the world's ending as we know it. Uh, I see on Facebook, people want to know where these folks are from, this and that. It doesn't matter. They're from Madison County. We need to pull together as a family, as a county, and get through this, and we will. you just got to follow the rules, practice your social distancing, keep your hands washed. So, thank you. One yes, other quick thing. Any recommendations you have for businesses that are going to be shutting down tonight, non-essential employees, uh, anything that you would recommend to them or uh, anything like that? I mean, we would recommend the same things we would recommend to everybody about the social distancing. Um, for more specific details on our Madison County website, uh, we have more detailed guidelines for businesses as well as for a variety of other, uh, for nursing homes, for individuals, um, so I would just ask, direct them to go there. That information is uh, quite detailed, and we are updating it daily as we get new information. So as you know, this is things change hourly on this issue. And so um, we, we understand that, appreciate people's concerns, and we're trying to stay on top of that to make sure you have the most accurate and correct information. We ask you to, I would ask you personally, to avoid getting your information off of social media and, and to look to the people that do media for a profession. Uh, to CDC, the state, and our local websites. Thank you.
Yeah, we're urging everybody to make sure that they go to our official uh, website here in Massa County or the state's official website or our official Facebook pages. That's where you'll get the most accurate information. So. Any other questions? Okay, thank you for everybody for coming this morning. We appreciate it.